So we currently have a little problem in our application and that is when a new user registers, they're not assigned a role. So let's take a look at this. So we come over to register and I'm just filling some dummy data in here. New user, new user at google.com. It's not really a proper email. I'm just going to register this user. As you see now, we're now logged in and we can't see anything. So the application is still locked down correctly. The user is not an admin or an author, so they're not seeing the manage users link. But let's log in as an admin now. So we're going to log in as our admin user. And now if we come over to user management, we can see this new user doesn't have any roles assigned to them. So let's fix this. So I'm just going to delete this user for now. See that user's now gone. And then over in our application, under app, HTTP, auth, we want to open our register controller. Now I'm going to scroll to the bottom to the create method. And then this is where it creates a user. So after we've created the user, we want to assign a role to them. So the first thing we need to do is get the role that we want to assign to them. So let's create a new variable and just call this role. And we're going to set that equal to our role model. And we're going to select the ID from the roles table. And we're going to select the ID where the name column is equal to user. So that's just selecting the generic user from the roles table. And then we just want to grab the first result. There's no point in carrying on after we've got the first one. So now we want to assign this role to the newly created user. So instead of returning the user here, what we can do is create a user variable and set that equal to the creation. So when this user is created, it's then stored in this user variable. And now all we do is call that user and we're going to call the roles relationship on our user model. And we can just call the attach method built into Laravel Eloquent. And we're just going to attach the role ID that we've selected here. And then all we need to do is then return the user and then that's it. So we're creating the user here from the registration form. We're selecting the role ID where the name column is equal to user and we're just getting the first instance of that. And then with the created user, we're using the roles relationship on the user model and attaching the role ID that we've selected here. So let's give this a try now. I'm just gonna log out of admin and go over to register again. So I'm not going to bore you filling in the form again. It's just a uh, new user, new user at gmail.com and hit register. And you see that creates the user like before. Nothing really has changed there. Let's log out. We're going to log back in as our admin and we come over to user management. And we can see now our newly created user is automatically assigned the role of user.